face <laughs> is absolutely trash. <laughs> um, is it cold? <laughs> How cold is it? It feels like it's gonna snow. <laughs> it's so trash. <laughs> So as you can see we started the day with a bit of an untidy bus and if you are new around here we are actually living in our bus as a family. You want to say hello? Hey. And who's this Aya? Ayi. Ayi your little brother. So since our last video this guy's found his feet haven't you? You've been playing with your feet. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to make some brekkie, some toast with avo and sauerkraut and stuff, and a hot drinks. I'll have some of that too. You want that? You want a hot drink? Yep. Yeah, hot drink? <laughs> and then we're going to hit the road, and hopefully it's going to warm up, because where we're going is going to be very, very cold water. And the washing machine just finished. <laughs> the machine. And this is our bus. If you haven't watched our videos before, Chris built it with the help of friends and other people and it's been a massive massive journey i don't think you'll ever do it again yeah. thank you ando <laughs> lee yeah lee brad show me them who gave you these my brand <gasps> she drew you a card what's on the other side hey uh that needs the kisses oh love elsie and then that is the and I think there was another card here. Uh, yes. This one's from Olive. Yes. We just spent the past few days free camping and we met such a beautiful family. Actually, we met heaps of lovely people and Aya played for about three days straight with um, two friends. <laughs> um, it was so amazing and they, they made these cards for her. I think we're going to have to make some and send them to them. Yes. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna take this guy outside. Breakfast. We're just finishing packing up. I'm just folding up stuff we washed recently and putting it away. I'm trying to be way more careful with keeping our clothes tidy. Um, it's just so much easier. Um, and I've definitely been someone in the past that has been a little messy. So this is Chris and the kids clothes and I've got a bit more to pack in here. All right, we're ready to leave. It's your first nap time. You ready to leave, Aya? I just need to find something. All right, let's go jump in your chair. Let's jump in your chair. And we're off. How cool is this? This is for cane sugar. Alright, we can go. <laughs> it was so beautiful here. Hello, you're awake. Mummy and your sister are just getting some fruit. And then we're going to go explore. Does that sound good? Alright, this is what we just got. The shop is all grown by her and organic, so, so stoked. Is it nice out there? Yeah, oh, yeah, I, haven't, I don't know which way to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we have arrived at a swimming hole, and 
just got the sling out. I'm really trying to figure out how to use it actually. I haven't worn uh, my babies in slings much, but it's going all right. It feels pretty good. A is getting a dress change for the third time, I think, already today. So we found a little place to set up. This really reminds me of Canada. If you're from Canada watching this, what do you think? And there's little pools here. We think we're gonna go for a swim in there. <laughs> you're just over here chilling under a tree with your feet. <laughs> and it's also winter guys, so this is going to be cold. I don't know what temperature, but we went for a swim yesterday, yesterday and it was freezing cold. Is it time to go back to the bus? Yes. Oh, that's a yes. <laughs> So we are back at the bus. I'm just heating up some food, just some leftovers. So this is lunch. Aya wants to go for a little run before we leave. <laughs> Dress is tucked into her undies. Hey guys, I just wanted to have a bit of a chat with you all and take a moment to thank the sponsors of today's video, which is Audible. So Audible are offering an exclusive promo for our subscribers. So if you're an Amazon Prime member and wanted to start an Audible membership, you can get 66% off the first three months. So you'll be paying $4.95 a month for the first three months, and then it goes to $14.95 a month. So it's like getting the first three months for the price of one. I'm pretty sure this is a promo I signed up under four years ago I've been using Audible for a really long time so if you're not familiar with it you get one free audiobook every single month and two free Audible originals from an ever-changing list. If you wanted to check out Audible you can go to www.audible.com forward slash Jinty or text Jinty to 500 500. I am currently listening to The Big Leap, which is all about sort of challenging our limiting beliefs that we have and letting them go so that we can live our lives at our full potential. And this is a book that I was recommended by so many different people and I've finally got to it. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be absolutely amazing. I've only recently begun it. I'll leave the book title in the description box and I'll also leave some other suggestions on audiobooks that I absolutely love. So today I actually wanted to talk a little bit about why we live in a little bus together with two kids and travel because I think a lot of people find it an unusual decision especially with kids um, there's this notion that when you have kids you become a family you settle down you stop doing this sort of travel and stop living like this some of you know that I fell pregnant with Aya two weeks into like a year-long backpacking trip and I went through this period of just being devastated that I would like never travel again sort of thing which has just certainly not been the case for Chris and I traveling has been something that we have just loved so much and it's been such an amazing thing that we have done together in our relationship and so continuing on doing that has just been even more important now that we've got kids because I really think that when we're doing things that bring us joy and make us happy we can be the best parents that we can be so some of you might know but after we had Aya we were living in a unit Chris was working and studying and I was a stay-at-home mom and whilst I loved spending my time with Aya I just felt in my heart that there could be another way so that we could raise our child together and spend our days together as a family. So that led us to thinking of ways that we could avoid having to pay this huge amount of weekly rent and expenses that came with having a rental property. So the idea of van life was born, which has now led us to being in a bus with our second child. And it's been a crazy amazing adventure but it all really stemmed from the idea of living more simply so that we could raise our children together. I definitely don't think we're going to be living in a bus for the rest of our lives but I certainly hope that we can take some of the lessons that this lifestyle has given us and apply them 
throughout our entire life because the things that are, are meaningful aren't, you know, all of the possessions and a big house. It's, you know, spending quality time together, connecting, being outside in nature, and cooking our meals together and just living our lives together as a family. And it has been so unbelievably amazing for us the past Wow, it's going on three years now, which is mind blowing. But yeah, this is why we live like this and we really love it. When it stops bringing us joy, we will explore other living arrangements. We have this huge dream of buying our own land one day, growing our own food, having some animals on the property. And I really believe that that will be a part of our story. And I am so incredibly grateful that we took that leap however many years ago and moved into that van when we didn't know anyone else doing it um, and a lot of people probably thought we were a little bit crazy um, so yeah that is essentially why we live in a bus because it makes us happy and we realize we don't need much at all and seriously who wouldn't want to just be able to take your bed everywhere with you it's the best thing ever anyway we are going to find a place to camp for the night I think we're going to try and stay in this national park so I'll show you when we find a place arrived at our campground for the night and there's a waterfall here that we might go to in the morning but I was thinking that for dinner I might cook up that jackfruit we brought at the um, roadside stall and Aya said that she'd help me do you like jackfruit look at the flowers out there whoa they're beautiful but yeah I was wondering if you'd help me cook the jackfruit yeah yeah, he's such a good helper in the kitchen, huh? Mm -hmm. What do you want with it? I don't know. Just jackfruit. Just jackfruit? A little bit sleepy. Mm. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> We're trying! Uh. Uh. Oh, look how good the bus looks, Aya. Whoa. Ready? Yes. Oh, whoa! <laughs> how are we gonna do this? <laughs> what do you think, I? I said we have to do the jump. <laughs> what do you think it is, Mum? <laughs> I'm not sure, but I feel like I might regret getting it over me. <laughs> That's what we want. <laughs> Look how much plush you've got. There you go. Dinner side. Dinner. Oh yeah, that's good. Can we eat that stuff? Can we eat it? Yeah, some of it. Mommy's going to cook it for dinner. Gosh, I wish I like Googled how to do this. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, it's so sticky. This is about half an hour later. <laughs> I really hope this is worth it. <laughs> I've decided to just do half the jackfruit to see if it tastes any good. I'm just going to clean this up and I'm going to cook this now. And we could cook the other half tomorrow or something, but yep. yeah. Good idea. Good work. I'm sure there's an easier way, but... I got the turkeys away. Thank you. I run them off. You run them off? Uh. Okay, I got everything, well most stuff, off my hands. I ended up putting some coconut oil. You're and freaking out there for a bit. It started hurting because <laughs> it was like setting on my hands. But I think you're hungry, aren't you? <laughs> All right, so we're just cooking it up in this. I've got to try to think of something to have with it. But yeah, this is what the jackfruit looks like. There's quite a bit here. Yeah, of course. Come here. Whoa! 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, but yay! Uh -oh. I'm cooking dinner and I think I could see <laughs> Chris has made friends with someone with a uh, slack on. Uh, 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 Whoa, go uh, Aya! Uh, hey, I forgot to film. How is it? An honest review. It is. Uh, a little bit firmer uh, than the canned hey? stuff, but hey, the flavour is good. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Hey. And okay, this guy here is so very, very, very tired, so I'm gonna have to put him to sleep. And yeah, it turned out okay. I think I might read a bit more about how to cook it. Oh gosh. Alright, it's sleep time. A is having her nighttime drink. We're so bright under this light. <laughs> uh, we're just packing up. This little guy's gone to sleep. I'm about to lay him down. I'm actually not going to wrap this video up tonight though because we're staying in a national park. Rain I do. Rain I do. Okay. okay. We're staying in a national park and there's a waterfall just close by. So we're going to go visit in the morning. And I thought we might as well bring you guys along so that you can see it as well. Anyway, we'll catch up with you guys in the morning. So first thing every single morning, you want to have a cuddle, don't you? Hello, is your sister got you? It's dark, crazy. He's a bit wiggly. Also, I laid him down so I could get ready and he was awake and he fell asleep about 10 seconds later. I'm pretty sure he's got some teeth very close to coming through. So Chris has decided to take A's throne. And I don't know if this is going to be something you live to regret. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything, but it's like massive and obvious. So I think she'll be in there within within 20 minutes. Yeah, I agree. But who knows? Make me strong. It'll be a workout. And you have woken up, haven't you? Hey. We've basically packed the house into a couple of bags and it's three kilometers and only one hour. But we're gonna start somewhere. You ready? Yeah, ready. I'm having dinner. We haven't even left yet. Hey, I hasn't stopped asking. Did a bit further, but we just started. I don't know about these carriers. How far did we make it? I thought about 300 meters. <laughs> wow. How far is this waterfall? I think 3k. I'll bet return, I think. That's amazing.
You can do it. These are the kisses. Hmm. And. Hey, oh, I wants to say hello. And, oh. um, and these are the berries. You want to jump in? Jump in. Otherwise, you let me know how you look at. That's awesome! <laughs>